empty your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Silva. I get head kick. Oh, God, he was rocked. And Lehman goes down. Lehman is rocked. He was stunned. I thought it was over. Oh, he is in big trouble. Big trouble. Prince Lehman goes That's down it. again. Wow. And it is all over. Wow. And it's all over. The debut of Anderson that Silva is last wow. less than one minute. Right, Anderson going for town. Yeah. Rich Franklin's body. Oh, and Rich is trouble. Rich is Rich is rocked here. Rich is in trouble here. Rich just took a push right away. Rich is in trouble. Rich is in trouble. Rich is in trouble. Silva. Rich Rich is in trouble. In trouble. Anderson Silva. Another day in the house. Franklin. And it is all over. Rich Anderson Rich. Silva is the new middleweight champion. Anderson the title. Silva. Let's look at that again. Bang! He makes you pay. Any mistake you make, he makes you pay. Anderson Silva has defended his middleweight title. Who can stop that man? Confident in his striking. Look at the hand flow. Yeah, I think he really under. does. Oh, down goes Griffin. I mean, that's just oh. amazing. And and again. Again. He's out. He's out. And it is all over. Anderson Silva remains the UFC middleweight champion. super tranquila, assim, tipo, não tive problemas. Na verdade, eu não, eu não... Eu sempre fui muito agitado. E sempre tive em contato com a luta, com a arte marcial. Treinei capoeira, treinei jiu-jitsu com alguns amigos que na época treinavam. Sempre gostei de boxe, taekwondo, muay thai. Eu, eu nunca imaginava que ia ser quem eu sou hoje, como lutador. Sei lá, eu acho que as coisas aconteceram Assim, de uma forma muito natural. Cai a crise, mano. <risos> Se eu não tivesse é, é, dentro da arte marcial, talvez eu estaria ainda trabalhando no McDonald's, não sei. Teria me tornado jogador de futebol, também não sei. Seria um cara legal, mas não sei o que seria. Star Wars, Clone Wars. Como o novo sabre de uso eletrônico, você sentirá o poder da força. Batalhando contra o Jedi, ou contra o Si, o destino da galáxia está em suas mãos. Os novos sabres de luz eletrônicos da Hasbro. Que a força esteja com você. A gente se conheceu, eu tinha 13 anos. Ele tinha 17, a gente ficou junto, fiquei grávida com 17 anos. Quando eu falei que estava grávida, ele me apoiou, ele foi morar junto, ele sempre foi um bom pai. Ele treinava, sempre falava que ia ser, sempre falava assim, via uma casa, um dia eu vou te dar uma casa dessa, um dia eu vou te dar esse carro. Um dia a gente vai ter uma casa na praia. Sempre falava isso. Ele via um carro bonito assim, sempre falava. 
Aí espera, calma, um dia eu vou te dar um carro dele. E conseguiu. É difícil, porque ele passa uma semana e viaja. Anderson Silva, Damian Maia, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. What Anderson Silva is, is like a real live Bruce Lee. Yeah. And we have the honor of watching. UFC record, 10 straight wins in the octagon. That was wicked. Silva starting to stalk. Flying knees. Damian's in big trouble. He's in big trouble again. Just lightning fast. Anderson just feels, he feels no fear. And that's all you can yeah. try, yeah. Suicide bomb on one of those legs. He's saying, stand up with me. Now for Anderson Silva, finish it. Come on, in. Have you ever seen anything like this? No, I, I, I mean... How many fights have we called together? Well, well over a thousand. I've never seen anything like this. So now this is where people have criticized Anderson. Correct. He's doing this now. He's just kind of moving around and doing nothing. And if you're Anderson Silva, you got to be thinking, all right, I've proven my point. Now let's finish this fight. Look, Damian Maia has 50-something seconds. Han, I'm going to tell you again. You keep running around. It's timidity. I'm going to take a point away. Hey, next time, one point. Seconds of this championship bout. They go the distance. The judges score this contest a win by unanimous decision. And still, the UFC middleweight champion of the world, Anderson the Spider Silva. Uh, your your reactions tonight do you think the people who paid a thousand dollars for their tickets got their money's worth tonight from what you did what do you think uh, I don't think I've ever been more embarrassed in the 10 years of being in, in this business and it's the first time that I've ever walked out on a main event and given the belt to the guy's manager and told him to put it on. I did what I had to do. I was not here to ask for anything, to ask for anything. I did what I had to do. I did what I had to do. My job was well done. My mission was completed. My mission was completed. All right, so you're not in a good place. You didn't like it. He disrespected you and the sport and the fans. Is there some sort of punitive but is there a punishment that you're going to drop on him? All I can say is I, I know his next opponent isn't going to be a guy who's going to lay back and let him do stuff like that to him. Chael Sonnen's going to take it to him, and hopefully we never see that again. Joining me now is Chael Sonnen. I contacted Uncle Dana. I begged Uncle Dana, keep this cancer around for three more months. I'll get rid of him. Are you going to rid this guy of the MMA industry? This guy's out of here. He's getting his walking papers on August 7th. Aí 
Ricardo. Ai, Ricardo. Ai, Ricardo. Uma tiração. Ai. Nossa. Tranquilo? Que eu lembro que eu, ou, que eu lembro que eu via o Anderson, o Anderson sempre foi uma, um, um, um atleta disciplinado e criativo. Né? Sempre criativo, sempre pronto para treinar. Sabe? Ah. Olha isso aí, a gente consegue colocar daí com isso, com esse tipo de treino, a gente consegue colocar na parte emocional, mental, aquilo que a gente quer, né? Ele chegar espancado uma vez e acabar a luta. Se o cara não vem, vai pra dentro. Se o cara vem, tá fundido. Então, na minha cabeça, na minha cabeça, tá aí, sabe? Cara, eu gosto há muito tempo nessa área, né, lutando, né? Então ele chegou num nível que é muito difícil chegar. A maioria das pessoas que estão treinando, estão lutando agora, tá começando agora, né? Tá começando a caminhar, pegar a experiência. E juntando a parte física, atlética dele com a parte de, 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 da experiência dele, é, é quase que imbatível, sabe, lutar com ele. Quem? O Chael? O Chael. É. Nós não vimos o Neymar ser controlado assim há muito tempo. Ele está sendo derrotado. Ele nunca foi derrotado assim. Mesmo quando ele lutou contra o Anderson Silva, ele era muito competitivo. Ele fica fazendo esse joguinho normal. Nada espetacular. Nada diferente de espetacular. Eu estou com o adversário muito mais perigoso. 
All three judges for this contest, 30, 27, declared the winner by unanimous decision, Charles Savage! Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Tira, 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 cara. Pelo amor de Deus, cara. Tá Jesus amado. Cara, os caras falam aí, o que, que ele escreveu aqui? Você tava escrevendo, né? não, não das, das, das fotos, cara. Tava só botando letra, né? Não, tava escrevendo, escrevendo uma foto e escrevi. Tomar no teu... Não, é. Numa escrevi, não sou o melhor, mas sim capaz de fazer aquilo que me dissesse possível. Na outra eu escrevi. Ah, aí a gente tá botando agora pro hotel pra encontrar o Lioto e o. E o Marlon e o. Dandan e o... O, cigano. o cigano, aí a gente vai lá. Tá bom? E você, como é que foi teu dia hoje? Tudo bem? É, tudo bem, sim. Ah, tá bom então, amanhã a gente se fala. Beijo grande, fica com Deus. Bye, Renan, I love you. I love you too. A noite isso aqui fica legal pra caramba, né, cara? So it's hard to answer that. 
But with that said, he's not my kind of guy. Anderson Silva is a champion that dresses and behaves like a gang member. Nobody can dispute what I say. He wears earrings, he wears a hat crooked, he wears saggy pants, and he wears pink t shirts. That's what gangbangers wear. Feet moving to feet step. I'm a hard working guy, and I believe in setting a good example, especially for the next generation. I've got a lot of eyes on me, and that's exactly where they should be. No matter how hard you try, you can't stop me Isso é culpa do Ando, de Oz, do Puff, do Minota. A culpa é de vocês. Quando o Minotauro se tornou meu amigo, ele se tornou meu amigo de verdade. Talvez se não fosse ele, eu nem estaria lutando mais. Porque na verdade eu estava disposto a parar de lutar, já tinha visto algum, algumas coisas para mim vindo da aula aqui nos Estados Unidos. E o Minotauro acabou comprando meu barulho e graças a Deus hoje está dando tudo certo. Aí ele é uma das pessoas que, é, ele e o irmão dele foram uma das pessoas causadoras disso, né? que ajudaram a, a, a manter essa, essa, essa vontade de eu estar de eu, de eu lutando, de eu manter um, um sonho, né? Nós vemos é, sábado, é, domingo, 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 valeu, mestre. Valeu, falou. Você também. Ai, cão! Fecha do gordo! Não vai comer? Não, vou comer não, pode comer à noite, cara! <risos> vou comer à noite, cara! Vamos, vem, vem, cara! Vamos lá no cheesecake! Fence and put him on his prissy little ass. 
fact, you did mention, I mean, you take a look at Anderson Silva. He was sort of upset with Damian Maia trash talking. You've taken this to a new level. Uh, are you getting into his head, do you think? Who cares? Who cares about Anderson's head? Anderson's old news. If it wasn't for me, Anderson Silva would be on the unemployment line logging on to Monster.com posting a resume right now. Ed Suarez, his manager, says, no one listens to you unless you're speaking about Anderson Silva. You know, it's interesting. I was just in a cab with Ed Soros two weeks ago uh, in Las Vegas, and I was sharing with him some of my philosophies on pre-Shakespearean time. And Ed's like, oh, my God, did we just teleport to the 15th century? I'm like, no, Ed, we're actually still in the taxi cab. And by the way, teleportation hasn't been invented yet. You must be kind of stupid. Thank you very much for your dude, time. Dude, this guy's <laughs> whacked. First of all, dude, I don't even know what the hell teleportation <laughs> is, dude. You know what I mean? And then I had to figure it out that it was this stuff from Star Trek. This good dude, hey, bro, this guy, for real, dude, like, he's got, he's got some mental problems, dude. When you're given an opportunity, it's important to be thankful. And uh, when you screw up and you some, you know, take Lance Armstrong, okay? Lance Armstrong cheated, he did drugs, he gave himself cancer. Well, instead of saying, hey, listen, I cheated, nobody else should cheat or you could get cancer, he actually made himself the victim and then went out and profited like 15 point some million dollars from this, hey, poor me uh, campaign. So, you know, you watch these guys and you go, God, what a fraud. There's just fraud after fraud here, you know, from Michael Phelps being the pothead to, you know, you just got to deal with these things. And, and if you're me, you're, you're glad you're in the business you're in where you can get them in the cage kick the crap out of him for 25 minutes. vítima do, do teu sucesso, você não entra lá e, e acaba com o cara, tudo mundo pensa que tá uma coisa errada. Ah, é complicado, né? É complicado. Ah, eu não vejo dessa forma porque eu pratico arte marcial há muitos anos, e não só um estilo de arte marcial. Você acaba sendo vítima da crítica, sendo vítima da, das pessoas que, que não entendem realmente a essência da luta, a essência da arte marcial. Everybody can be beaten, he says. Even Mike Tyson was beaten. The only reason Anderson hasn't been is because all of these guys are afraid by his press clippings and his highlight reel. É uma luta dura para mim, uma luta dura para ele, mas é, ele devia falar menos e procurar. É pensar no que ele está falando, pensar no que ele vai falar, para que isso não acabe voltando contra ele. He says, I'm not a math teacher from Ohio like Rich Franklin. I'm not a Canadian fighting on one leg like Patrick Cote. I'm a gangster from Portland, Oregon. <laughs> And things are going to be different on August 7th. Yeah, there you go, right there. Another one. Okay. Okay, you want to start clean or start, start clean? Start clean, hand it off and then hand it And we're rolling, call it Matt. Here we go. Here's the hard part. You're interviewing somebody right now who's had his battles with Anderson Silva, okay? First of all, it's, it's a weird situation because I'm the guy who's been singing his praises since he's coming to the UFC, and I'm also the guy who's been beating him up publicly too when he, um, I'll call it isn't on par. Um, I truly believe that he's the most talented fighter in the world, period. Boxing, kickboxing, Muay Thai, MMA, P-knuckles, I don't give a shit what, what style of fighting you come up with, I believe he's the best in the world. When he's 
100% mentally there. And this is the kind of stuff that drives Dana White nuts. I sat there for as long as I could take it, and I got up and walked over to Ed and dropped the belt on him and said, you put it on him, I'm not, and walked out of the arena and left. I've never done that. Anderson and I had a conversation, and we'll see how well it went uh, on August 7th. Ah, Dandan, que é, né, é como filho, é como irmão, é como amigo, mora comigo e, e treina há muito tempo, é meu, meu aluno, meu estudante. He's actually rematching the guy because Dundan cut him maybe a minute and a half into the fight. And so now he's rematching him in Portland. There we go. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Você tem que ouvir, entendeu? 
tô de fora, eu tô vendo. Eu consigo ouvir. Se eu achar, eu ouvir. Faz o que você tá afim de fazer com segurança. Não tem segredo. Cara, tudo ali, o Ramon ali, todo dia, cara, porra, treinando só com os pica, meu, o cara chega antes na academia, sai antes de casa, chega antes da academia pra fazer isso aí, cara. Tá fudido agora, eu esqueci, você tá fudido. <risos> Você me deixa o cara ter raspado. O cara só tem burro. Parece uma, uma pena. Kale Sunnen. He's gonna be. Vou ser. Kale Sunnen. Big time. Anderson Silva sucks ass. Kale Sunnen's gonna fucking fuck him up. Fuck him up. I'm from fucking Portland, Oregon. All right, Chael Sonnen all the way, baby. Chael Sonnen all the fucking way. Let's go, Bubs. Hi, thanks for joining us for the 117 video conference call today. Hi, my question's for Anderson. Anderson, uh, Chael has uh, made no secret of his feelings about you heading into this fight. All that's been said, is this the most ah, não é nenhum segredo, Anderson, a todas as coisas que o Cheio está falando de você antes dessa luta. Um, com isso sendo falado, uh, como você se sente? Isso é uma luta que você está muito ansioso para lutar? Não. É só isso? Uh, as tuas últimas lutas uh, eram um pouco polêmica, uh, com, com, só a única que não foi, foi aquela do, do Forrest Griffin, que, que os fãs no fim estavam 
torcendo para você. Teve uma coisa que aconteceu antes dessa luta que foi diferente que as outras? Não. Não. Ok. Ele falou que pelos tipos de respostas que você está dando, está parecendo que você está com um pouco o saco cheio de respondendo esses tipos de perguntas. É verdade? Não. Ela quer saber exatamente específico a que tipo de coisas que você mudou uh, na tua preparação e no teu treino para se preparar para essa luta contra o Chael. Ah, eu comecei a treinar com o Steve I, I started training with Steven Seagal. Well, Penny, you, you knew when you asked him a question that you were setting yourself up for a boring answer, and you got one. So, what are you going to do? Thank you for the interview the other day, Chael. You're very welcome. This is, this is Anderson yet again. You know, he truly believes the answer he gave a few minutes ago, that people are tuning in to see a fight and not see anything else. He really means that. He, he feels like he's taking the moral high ground. He couldn't be more wrong. Does he know anything about business? Has this guy ever done anything? That's not what people are tuning in to see. People don't want to just see two, two people fight. They want to know why they're fighting. He couldn't have this industry more backwards. It, it, it's shocking that he actually believes it and, and, and then stands there with his chest out like we should all pat him on the back and go, oh, good job, Anderson. You're training really hard. Well, guess what, dummy? I've been training really hard since I was nine years old, and I still have time to bring interest to people seeing me whip your ass on August 7th. Não tem muito o que falar, né, cara? Não tem muito o que ficar falando, ficar falando bobagem. Meu Deus, ele tá falando um monte de merda, tá? Entendeu? Deixa ele promover do jeito que ele quer, deixa ele falar o que ele quer. Não tem muito pra falar. O que tem pra falar é que eu vou subir lá e vou fazer meu trabalho. Só muda, às vezes, o, a, a, o repórter, mas é sempre a mesma resposta e é sempre a mesma pergunta. As pessoas já sabem o que eu vou responder, mesmo assim elas procuram ficar é, é, fazendo perguntas que às vezes não são muito inteligentes, entendeu? Porque a resposta só é importante quando as pessoas fazem perguntas inteligentes. Dude, we're in the fight selling business. We gotta sell fights. And I understand that his no, I'm not gonna talk. But dude, we gotta promote a fight. But right now, what am I gonna say to him? It's 10 days before the fight. It's like, what's done is done. Dude, he's not gonna change. This is the way that he is, and this is until he, he, he doesn't grasp the concept on promoting a fight. Or he does, and he chooses not to. I don't know which one it is. Now here's Dana White calling me. Hello? Okay. Well, he, well, he, he, he. Fuck, dude. He just basically said, you know, sometimes it makes me feel like If Anderson uh, loses this fight, it makes me want to cut him. Let him go to strike force, it'd be good. Just get rid of this guy. Dude, who wants to hear that, man? You know what I mean? Let me tell you what, uh, you know, this is his documentary and his film. I don't want to rain on his parade, but if Abu Dhabi Anderson shows up, it is not going to be fucking good. It is not going to be good. É complicado, porque você passa muito tempo treinando, cara. Pô, eu tô já há dois meses aqui, não aguento mais esse lugar, quero ir embora pra minha casa. Tô de saco cheio de tudo isso, entendeu? Preciso ficar com a minha família, tô longe dos meus filhos. Então é complicado, você, você é, é, Algumas vezes os repórteres não entendem, algumas pessoas não entendem. Isso acaba te consumindo muito, então é... É, é complicado, mas... Preciso de game.
What did you say? I said, do you know your Twitter name? Oh, my name? What? Someone attack you. caminho aqui, mas eu mudei de ideia, eu vou pra casa. Falou, meu gato. My life, my life in the sunshine. Everybody loves the sunshine. Sunshine, sunshine. Everybody loves the sunshine. Sunshine, sunshine. Folks get down in the sunshine. They really love sunshine. Sunshine, sunshine. Folks get down in the sunshine. Olha só, quem foi lá, velho? Ah, mas não pode falar se não gosta do uso, né? Né, né, gay? Pretty rude team over there in LA. Nice pretty room. Massa, brother. I have to assume that Anderson, if he's ever been motivated to punch a guy in the face, it's got to be this guy. Ah, uh, yeah. That's going to be fun. He says, yeah, that you didn't come from a bowing culture. That's what he said. Yeah, yeah. You, bow, you bow down in Brazil, they'll hit you over the head and take your wall. <laughs> it's kind of true, though. It's good. It's good. What's up, guys? What's he doing? How are you, boss? I like the beard. What's up, gang? What kind of shit is this, man? Keep it safe. All right, guys. You ready? Yep. All right, I think we're going to start in a couple minutes here. All right, as usual, I'm going to jump right into this. First time ever up here. We're excited to be here. Love going to new markets. And if we've ever done this, it's been a long time since we've had a press conference with so many people up here. And the reason is, obviously, this is a stacked card. Anderson, 
Uh, everybody knows all the talk that's gone on from Chael Sonnen. How do you feel about Chael's talk coming into this fight, and how has it affected you and, and how you've prepared for this fight? Todo mundo sabe todas as coisas que ele estão falando, como você se sente de tudo que ele está falando. Pô, falar de mim é fácil, difícil ser eu, né? He said to talk about me is easy, try being me. Chill. Um, do you have any regrets for what you said before? Uh, no, I would never apologize for anything. And by the way, Soros, that was not a correct interpretation. Anderson did not just say, it's easy to talk about me, try being me. He said, it's easy to talk about me, try beating me. You're not the only one in the room that speaks uh, Portuguese, even though you act like you are. It's a step harder picking up that language than it is understanding pig Latin. Você deixou essa blusa de rosa é coincidência ou é em propósito porque ele falou de você vestindo camisa rosa? Pô, eu gosto de rosa e minha mulher também, pô. Se ele gosta também, pô, não posso fazer nada. Eu gosto, minha mulher gosta, não fala nada. He said I like pink. So does my wife. I don't know if he likes it or not, but I like it. So it was a coincidence. You're saying. Então foi em propósito ou coincidência? Não, não foi coincidência não. Botei porque ela falou, porra, bota que vai ficar bonito do lado do Daniel. He basically says, no, it's not a coincidence. I just basically put it on because my wife said, put it on. You'll look nice again next to him. <laughs> and this sort of started out as an MMA story, but has become more of a national sports story. And I know you denied yesterday ever making comments about Lance Armstrong. I, I just want to know if you've received any backlash from anyone else about the, you know, being associated with these comments at least. No, of course not. I, I never received backlash for my comp for my, my comments. I received praise. In fact, I ran for public office and received 99.6% of the vote. Was that the one? That was the one unopposed? <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> Is 
you. It's not to scare the gentleman. So please, but I'm sure everybody here is going to make way. One thing I want to make a point to you guys, as I always tell you, everybody here gets paid to fight tomorrow night. Not today, baby. I know you don't like him. You're mad at him. You're going to fight him. You do that shit tomorrow night. Not tonight. Please, on that stage, do not, do not disrespect yourself. Do not disrespect the UFC. Do not disrespect our profession. You will smack the hell out of him tomorrow, not today. Tô com cheiro. Não acho que eu sou favorito com essa luta, nem nada disso. Mas às vezes eu converso com Deus e peço para que Ele simplesmente faça o que tem que ser feito, independente do resultado. Deus amanhã decide se eu realmente mereço continuar com esse cinturão. O que é o mais importante para ti quando vai essa luta? Voltar inteiro para minha casa. Não tem dinheiro, não tem fama, não tem cinturão, não tem, não existe nada mais importante do que eu voltar inteiro para minha família. Para eles eu vou ser sempre ser o campeão, não interessa se eu tô com cinturão ou não. Essa oração, pedi para que o Senhor nos abençoe agora. O Senhor sabe quanto a gente treinou, quanto a gente batalhou para que acontecesse esse momento agora, para que a gente vá lá e faça bem o nosso trabalho. Não desejamos mal a ninguém, Senhor, apenas estamos aqui para fazer o nosso trabalho, fazer o nosso serviço bem feito, voltar cada um aqui para a sua família. Senhor, dá-me forças para evitar os nossos pensamentos e as nossas atitudes. Dá-me coragem para ser e melhorar o que eu sou. I can see him. 
yourselves at all times. Touch gloves, go back, let's do this. Anderson Silva. Teo Sonnen. Let's fight! Here we go! Oh my! Yeah. Whatever it takes. Champion. 
both feet for the start of round three. Chao pushes forward again. He's got him down again. And man, man, look at that. One, two, three, four, five. The rabbit punches. Because he's been carrying Chael Sonnen's weight on him. He's been getting beat up. He's been frustrated. He's been getting taken down. The chance to Sonnen. Right out to take the center of the octagon. Left hand by Silva. Kick to the body by Anderson. Elbow buckles up. Here comes Anderson Silva. Chael's got a hold of him again, but can't control him. Anderson with a kick to the body again. Sprawl. Chael's got him over. Reversal. Another round. Headed to round five. Another round for Chael Sonnen in the books. This is 4-0 in my opinion. You don't think about anything else with those hands. Okay, everyone out. Everyone out. Stuff, but at the end of the day, you either get your hand raised or you don't. And I did it. And, and that's it. And I'll live with it. But I'm devastated. I was thinking and I'll go back to my house and say, 
três meses que eu não vejo meus filhos, eu fiquei aqui treinando um, e não voltei para casa, eu tava pensando na minha família, nos meus filhos, minha avó faleceu há três semanas e eu não pude ir para minha casa, eu tava pensando na minha casa. Ninguém vai bater mais forte do que a vida. Não importa como você bata. Sim, o quanto aguenta apanhar e continua lutando. O quanto pode suportar e seguir em frente. É assim que se ganha. uma coisa que eu não queria, porque achava assim, né? É um, uma profissão que ele arrumou, uma, é, é, meio estúpida, meio, né? Eu, por exemplo, as lutas dele eu quase não, não gosto de, de assistir, porque eu, a gente ataca os nervos da gente, né? Mas tá aí, graças a Deus, forte, venceu a parada, né? E estamos juntos, né? Mas foi um bom filho.